that's how you officially open up stuff, right? Like I could have tried to hack that terminal. What's the point though? Honestly, what would have been the point of actually trying to hack it when I could just shoot it and make it go boom? See, you've got your job cut out for you. What is this place? What were they making? Oh, hey, you're here. How are you? What's going on? Republic scum, do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? When yes. you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work. Aren't you scary? So grrr and scary. This is good. <sighs> I'm impressed. Have you been practicing that line? You're a brave fool, aren't you? But bravery cannot save you. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. Your masterpieces? Uh-huh. You? Okay, you know what? You're just a lot of talk. It's just talk, 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 talk. I thought you were going to make me pay. These are your last words. Don't waste them on threats. This is no idle threat. The droids you destroyed were mere playthings compared to what I have now created. I have taken ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else until it's much too late. That's great. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of your accomplishments that are about to be destroyed. If you're waiting for me to be impressed, then get comfortable. Think whatever you wish. You'll soon be dead. Nah. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives to wait until my hidden programming activates. This guy's full of it. Yep. I don't buy any of this. Same. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. I don't buy it. Not at all. Why haven't you done it already? Don't tell me the tech wasn't ready. You're bluffing. Believe whatever you like. When it happens, you will be long dead. Destroy her! Okay. This guy is crazy. I'm gonna destroy the droids first. Because I don't want them... I don't know if any of them are capable of healing them. And if they are, I don't want them doing it. Okay. Droids are dead. Now it's just you. I thought you were really gonna like fight me and stuff like that and make me work for it and blah, 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 blah. I thought you were gonna be like big, tough, scary. Really not that tough. Really not that scary. I definitely think I'm gonna beat you in this. How about that? I also think I'm gonna be the one to destroy your perfect droid creations or try to save them at least. I doubt we can, but maybe. Thanks for the fun fight though. It was really nice meeting you. I got a phone call. Hold on one second. Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You have to eliminate Krell's creations. But what if Krell was bluffing? Like, I'm all for destroying them if that's really and truly what they are. But what if he's bluffing and we kill innocent people? We can't know for sure if Krell was telling the truth, sir. Whether Krell was bluffing or not, these cyborgs are a risk we cannot allow. I'm giving you the kill order, Lieutenant. I take full responsibility for the consequences. Now get it done. You know this isn't right, Garza. This isn't. There has to be a way to see if what he's done is actually what he's done and then move forward from there. Killing these people is wrong, and you know it, Garza. It's right for the Republic. That's our only concern. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors, not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. Yeah, I know. Listen, I know I said I was going to kill the cyborgs earlier to him, but I was more taunting him than anything because that just... It made me giggle but knowing that he thought that that's what I was going to do. You know what I mean? Anyways, we're not killing anybody, Jorgen. I'm not going to murder these people. I don't care what Garza says. Whatever we're going to do, let's do it fast. Agreed. Let's go see if we can either talk to them or examine them or something. Are they conscious? Like, are they awake in here? Are they not? Like, what are we going to do? 
Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. Okay. Can we work this out and just talk? That's all I want. Just open the door. Let's talk about this. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak. <laughs> this is insane. You out there. Listen, I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's- Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. I need proof. You do understand, right? I have a kill order and I need proof before I can move forward. Prove you aren't cyborgs and I'll let you go. What do you mean, prove we aren't cyborgs? You might as well ask us to prove we're not rancors. It's obvious, isn't it? No. This is insane. Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? Listen, open the door. Just open it so we can talk face to face because this is ridiculous talking through it. I'm getting tired of arguing about this through a door. Please, soldier, think this through. Cyborgs or not, we haven't done anything wrong. There's no reason to kill us. How about this? You give me your IDs and you can go. And then that way we can unfortunately keep an eye on you. And if anything happens, you know? Give me your names and identification numbers and I'll let you go. What? So you can track us all down and kill us later? No way. If it gets us out of here alive, then it's worth it. We'll put the information on a data pad for you, soldier. Okay. Stand back. I'm going to open the door. Here's the data pad, soldier. Thank you for sparing us. Let's go home, everyone. Just good luck out there. And please don't make me regret this. I'm asking. Don't make me come back here. I better not find out you were dangerous after all. We won't harm anyone. I swear it. Thanks again, soldier. Farewell. Good luck. Lieutenant, my orders were perfectly clear. Eliminate Krell cyborgs. Yeah, and I thought your orders were out of line, so either fire me or leave me alone so I can keep doing my job. With all due respect, General, I could not obey those orders. My orders are not polite suggestions, Lieutenant. You don't choose to follow them. You follow them. Lieutenant, when you are on a mission, you listen to my orders. Then your brain, then your heart, in that order. There's no room for sentiment in our line of work. There should be similarly little room for it in you, or we're doomed to fail. So where do we draw the line, Garza? What happens if you make a bad call and I'm out in the field and I have to think quick? Am I just supposed to do whatever you say even though it could get me, my men, and a whole bunch of other people killed? I don't think so. Where do we draw the line in all of this? If we're heartless, what separates us from the Empire? We are heartless so that the people of the Republic don't have to be, Lieutenant. So that the Republic does not become the Empire. Always remember that. Return to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. You know what Garza forgot in all of that? Those three people that we just saved? They were Republic too. So while she's talking about saving the Republic and everything like that, she was willing to kill the Republic, too, at the same time, hmm? Let's go back and talk to her again, because I'm sure she's got a great assignment for me, and she's gonna probably give me that look of disappointment. But honestly, I'm okay with that, because I'm not upset by the decision I made. I have their information. If anything goes wrong, we'll know where to find them. Ah, Lieutenant. I trust no more needs to be said about your work against the Migrant Merchants Guild. Let's move on to your next target, the Black Sun, a powerful organization composed of Coruscant's most violent criminals. Black Sun has a wide network of sources providing them with the deadliest weaponry available, including a powerful nerve agent that they're selling to Tavis in bulk. Nerve agents? War droids? Coruscant really is a mess, supposed to be... One of those shiny, fancy, freshly rebuilt places. And it's just a mess. I can't believe these groups are operating on the capital of the Republic. Coruscant hasn't been the same since the Empire's attack, just before the treaty. I suppose we're fortunate that things aren't worse. 
a Spec 4 Sergeant Jaxo has carried out some advance reconnaissance of Black Sun's headquarters. You'll rendezvous with her for a detailed plan of attack. We can't risk any of this nerve gas falling into Tavis's hands, Lieutenant. Use all necessary force. Dismissed. Hey there, you must be the new Havoc CO. I'm Jaxo, it's good to meet you. No, it's nice to meet you too. It's good to meet you too, Sergeant. Hope you're ready for some fun, Lieutenant. Always. We've got your work cut out for you. Your highly enviable task is to destroy a cache of nerve gas canisters that the Black Sun Syndicate is shipping to Tavis. The gas is called Travors. Scary stuff. One canister can cover a square kilometer with 100% fatality inside of 10 minutes. That is absolutely insane. How do I destroy this safely without, you know, dosing myself? Do we have any way to safely deal with this stuff? Lucky for us, it's pretty easy to neutralize Travoris, at least while it's still in the canisters. The compound in this bottle renders Travoris completely inert on contact. Just plug it into the canisters inside the Black Sun base, and the whole batch is history. Excellent. And then what do I do with the canisters? Should I just leave the neutralized gas behind? Once the Travoris is neutralized, it's useless. No need to retrieve it. General Garza said not to bother. All right. You also have another objective. A few hours ago, a bright red case was moved into the Black Sun space under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. So your job will be to find the case and bring me its contents. All right, yeah, no problem. I'll take care of it. Consider it done. One last detail. Black Sun has signal jammers throughout their base, so General Garza won't know to send help if you get in over your head. Oh, good. I generally am not a fan of being watched anyway, so it'll be like a vacation. This constant surveillance was getting on my nerves anyway. You should enjoy it while you can. I never get that kind of support on my ops. Once you've taken care of the Travoris canisters and nabbed whatever's inside that red case, be sure to meet me back here to confirm the mission results. Good luck, Lieutenant. This sounds exciting. Let's go and neutralize a whole bunch of nerve gas that's probably gonna ah, hurt us if we get, you know, too not so delicate with it. It'll be great. Look at Jorgen, aren't you so happy you've technically joined up with Havoc? All the best missions. It looks like the nerve gas is in a few different spots, so... Let's, I guess, find the first one? Straight ahead, maybe? Or, you know what? Let's go this way first. Should be fun. Hi! Okay, I was kind of curious if you'd actually Banana. notice that I wasn't one of you guys and just running right past you. Good news! You're all very, very alert. It's very wholesome to see. Bad news? You're not going to make it. Sorry. I hate to be the one to give you that uh, bit of advice, but thanks for playing anyways. Where is the canister of this stuff? Oh, hey. Oh, I see it now. Oh, that canister is huge. And Davis was going to take four of them? Honestly, how many gifts he trying to bring the Empire, Jorgen? Like, seriously, though, this... This is more troubling than I think anybody's letting on, given what Tavis and the other defectors are willing to do for their new friends. And it's a conversation we should all be having. But instead, Garza just wants to put a Band-Aid on it and then just stick her head in the sand and pretend like it's not happening. I don't know. Maybe that's unfair of me. Maybe. I tend to not think it is. I tend to think, you know, I'm right. But then again, I always think I'm right, even though I know I've been wrong a time or two. Ew, I just said that. It kind of tasted gross in my mouth. But listen, I'm not right every single time, Jorgen, but I'm telling you, I'm generally right. You know? And the next canister. Where is it? Oh, hey! I'm just looking for the big old canister of nerve gas you got stashed in here. Somewhere. It's probably not safe, by the way, to keep it in here with you guys just chilling like that. What if something leaked? What if it hurt you? Mm -hmm. Bet you didn't think about that now, did you? Don't worry. I did for you. Up and at him. I am. What do you think I'm doing? What do you think I'm doing? Up and at him. All right, let's get this. So I guess there are only three canisters of nerve gas. That's not comforting though, but we got it. Got the little red case, one canister of nerve gas neutralized. You know what would be the best thing though? If Tavis didn't know that we were uh, strolling on by and neutralizing this and he still bought this stuff anyways, 
and then he had nerf gas that did absolutely nothing. Honestly, I hope that that's what happens because that would be a good idea. That's a really good idea. Nobody thought of it. He's probably going to know because he probably got spies everywhere, but still. If comms don't really work down here, though, isn't that a possibility? Maybe? Or is it easy to tell you think that the stuff has been neutralized? They didn't tell me that part. Hmm. We'll see what happens. All right. I think that we've got the last canister to uh, neutralize. And then I think we're done. Wait, was it really that easy? I think it was. I think for the first time ever, we did something easy without too much fuss. Hopefully that's not a bad sign. Hey, you're back. Was the op a success? Were you able to neutralize the Travoris? Yeah. All set. Everything's been handled. I even got the little case you asked for. Mission complete. How about that red case? Were you able to grab whatever was inside? Yeah. Yeah. I have it right here. The case contained this blaster, Sergeant. I've never seen one quite like it. Must be some sort of new prototype. I'll take it back to headquarters for analysis. Maybe we can find out where Black Sun is getting their weapons. Guess we're through here then. It's been fun, Lieutenant. I hope we get to run together again sometime. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thanks for everything. I'll be sure to put your name forward the next time I need backup. Sounds good to me. See you later. See ya. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. A situation has developed with the Senate, and I need your help. The situation? And you need my help? Are you sure I'm the best person for this job? I'm not a diplomat. You need me to off a senator or something? No, absolutely not. Tempting as it might be at times like this. Despite my best efforts, three members of the Senate Defense Committee have learned about Havoc Squad's defection, and they want to know the specifics. It's an informal inquiry for the time being, but you can bet it won't end there. I hate politics. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm a soldier. I can't help them. We don't have time for this, General. I'm aware of that, Lieutenant, but we have no choice in the matter. The Senators have asked that you appear in their office at the Senate Tower immediately to testify in the inquiry. I'm barred from influencing your testimony, but I will remind you that the more information that becomes public, the harder our job becomes. Don't worry, I'll keep my mouth shut. I know how this game is played. And the Senators won't get anything out of me. How you testify is your business, Lieutenant. I could never, say, show wholehearted approval of your decision beforehand. The Senators are already waiting for you. Hurry back to the Senate Tower and try to get this over with quickly. Garza out. As if we didn't have enough problems already. I know. Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Just doing my duty, sir. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? Yep. It is. That's right, Senator. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? Uh, I'm unaware of any defection at all. Weird. First time hearing of it. I do not recall the events you described, Senator. Is that so? Our sources tell us that not only were you present at the time of the defections, you were in fact the one who discovered them. General Vander's reports on the incident were frustratingly vague, and you apparently share his need to conceal the truth. Please, we're only trying to discover the truth. If critical members of the Republic Armed Forces have defected, we'll need to take proper precautions. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? I don't know. I had just joined, uh, recently, so I can't really say as I don't know them very well. I'm afraid I don't know the people you're referring to all that closely, sir. Lieutenant, you are lying to the Senate of the Galactic Republic! Please, no one wants this to turn into a full-blown investigation. If you just answer honestly now, we can avoid all of that. I am. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. All right. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantell should have seen the situation coming? What situation? I'm not aware of any situation that had happened, so... 
I'm sorry, I'm not sure I know what you're referring to. He refers to the situation in which your entire squad defected to the Sith Empire. And then you failed to aid a Senate investigation into the matter. If we don't receive satisfactory answers now, we'll have no choice but to open a formal investigation. I have one final question, Lieutenant. Yeah. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect to... Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. Fantastic. Can I go now? Are we through here? Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. Goodbye. I think I handled that Senate investigation as well as I could have. Listen, could I have answered their questions better? Sure. Absolutely. Did I have any intentions of giving them more information than I did? Nope. And the funny thing is they thought I was lying when I said that I didn't know the individuals that they were talking about all that well. And it's like, they had my records. They knew I just joined Havoc. Were they expecting that within, what, 10 minutes of meeting everybody, I was already all buddy-buddy with them? Is that how they think the military works? Because I gotta tell you what, no military I've been a part of worked like that. Normally it takes a while before people open up and tell you their deepest, darkest secrets, you know? That just goes to show how out of touch they really and truly are with everything. It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. Oh? First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Thank you. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Yeah, that was some serious hardware. It was impressive. Whoever the Black Sun sources are, they're good. As for the Senators, they weren't very happy with your testimony. Useless and disrespectful were the words they used, actually. Ah! Awesome! Oh my, that's like the nicest set of compliments I've ever been given. Just trying to keep our backs clear, sir. But it's a fine line we walk, Lieutenant. Making the Senate too angry could have dire consequences. And I know. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Interesting. How are we just learning this now? Isn't that somebody we should have had eyes on the whole time? This guy's on Coruscant, and we didn't know until now. No one knew where Carden had gone. The man is a ghost. Not anymore. Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Garza, what happened on Ando Prime? Davis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive. But the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. <sighs> Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home. But in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. So Tavis wasn't lying. His reason for defection was real. Havoc Squad really was betrayed by the Senate. They were put in a terrible situation, Lieutenant, but that doesn't excuse their actions. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jet Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. All right. You want him alive, I assume? You don't want me to take Cardin out? If possible, I'd like you to capture Cardin alive. If he is involved in the defection, he could provide us with invaluable intelligence. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicar's Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. Can we put up with this? On Coruscant? Really? Why do we tolerate these hostile groups here on Coruscant? Most areas are safe. These sectors are the last pockets of lawlessness aftermath of the Imperial attack. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicar's main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. All right. Understood. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed.